please welcome Mr. Arthur Kamazi. 欢迎领导大师 Mr. Arthur Kamazi. Please welcome Mr. Arthur Kamazi. Good morning, Prudential. So, are you ready to transform? I can hear you. All right. Now, why do you need to transform? Aren't you already perfect? Yes. I am going to ask you to do something for me. Are you ready to do something? I want you to turn to the person to your left, and I want you to tell them the most incredible thing that you notice about them. Are you ready? Go. Now, how do you feel? You feel good. See, a lot of times. How many of you have high expectations? Any of you have high expectations? Any of you really want to be something outstanding? Do you really want to be outstanding? Well, from what I've heard today, you're already there. Now I guess it's just a matter of being super duper, incredibly, awesomely outstanding. But that does require some kind of transformation. I guess the question is, what do we want to transform into? See, how many of you were once children? We've got a few. All right, okay. Most of you were once children. That's a good sign. Okay, now see, this is what happens when you are children. The people around you, the environment around you, it affects you. And see, in, when you are children, you are you are emotionally fragile. And so, what ends up happening is that sometimes, when we are children, in order to protect ourselves, what we do is we make decisions that affect our future. Now, these decisions are actually quite simple decisions, and sometimes they seem, when we are children. To be the right thing to do, and sometimes because we make these decisions, it keeps going and going, even though we are adults. There was a lady once in one of my seminars. She was 32 years old, and she was extremely, extremely good at her job, but she wasn't going anywhere. She wasn't. Achieving the heights and levels that she wanted to achieve, and she was thinking, "My gosh, you know, I know I'm good, but why can't I do this?" And so one day, when she came to this seminar, she she found out that when she was five years old, she remembered that her mother had taken her to a new school. Now this was the first time that this little girl had ever been without her mother, in a group of strangers. The very first time, and because she was left there alone, she didn't know what to do. She started to freak out and she started to cry. And her mother tried to console her, and her mother was very caring. But then the mother had to leave, and as the girl was crying, and the mother said bye bye, and then she went out. Now this girl kept on crying, but then she saw her mother outside the window as she was walking away to the car, and so she runs to the window and she starts banging the window, "Mommy, mommy, mommy!" But her mother didn't hear her, and so this little girl, at five years old, felt abandoned. She felt that her mother didn't care. Was it true? Absolutely not. But it didn't matter because it was true for this little girl. Now, at that time, she decided that she didn't want to feel bad like that anymore. She didn't want to feel 
left alone. She did not want to feel abandoned. So she decided at a five years old, she decided she was going to be independent. And as she became more independent, and you know what? Because she had decided that she was going to be independent, she noticed all of the reasons why she needed to be independent. And as she grew up, at seven years old, she remembered that one of her teachers had also embarrassed her in front of class. And therefore, she decided she knew that that was the right reason that she needed to be independent. And then at 13 years old, one of her friends betrayed her over a boy, which reinforced why she needed to be independent. So here she is, 32 years old, and she's very independent. In fact, she is so independent that she doesn't really let other people get close. Because at five years old, she made a decision that she was going to be this way. And because now she still is living this decision that she made when she was five years old, even though it doesn't make any sense. Nothing. It's a five-year-old decision. And she can't get ahead. She can't get promoted. She can't move up the way she wants to. In fact, she's never had a relationship for more than three months. So here's this girl. And during a session of reflection, she realizes, she realizes that this decision she made, it had absolutely nothing to do with what she really wants. She was protecting herself. She didn't want to be independent. What she really wanted was to be part of a group, to be loved, to be cared for. And when she found that out, when she discovered that her decision that she made when she was five years old was completely irrelevant to what she wanted to achieve, she started to cry. She didn't cry because of all the years she lost being independent. She cried because she found her real self, the person that she wanted to be. And inside of every single one of us, we have our real self, our ideal being, the person that we want to become. It's all there. If it wasn't possible, you wouldn't want to be it. So what we're talking about here as far as transformation, it's not just about becoming something that you're not. It is literally about bringing out something that you already have inside you and sharing it with other people and helping them bring out the best inside of them. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to do it? Because I'll tell you something, this organization, what I've seen between yesterday and today, this organization is giving you everything they can to help you find your greater self. They're giving you the technology. They're giving you the, the platform. They're giving you everything you need. Question is, who do you want to become?